Books are powerful because they hold between their covers information that can help anyone achieve their life goals and become a better person. Books are a wealth of knowledge. They broaden your perspective and give you insight into the mind of the author. Imagine viewing the world from the eyes of so many people that you will not only be improving your imagination, but also develop yourself well enough to take up challenges that can help you succeed. Mallory Blackman, a British writer, said, Reading is an exercise in empathy, an exercise in walking in someone else's shoes for a while. Andre Morrow also said something similar. The art of reading is in great part that of acquiring a better understanding of life from one's encounter with it in a book. However, when we read, we do so not only to enjoy the stories captured in the book, but to learn valuable lessons that can indeed help us to achieve our goals and become successful. Sven Beckerts, an American essayist and literary critic, put it this way, there is reading and there is reading. Reading as a means to an end for information to cultivate oneself, reading as an end in itself, a process, a compulsion. So in this video, I will share with you 8 life lessons from 8 good books that everyone should read. If you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. You have to work endlessly to develop yourself. A valuable life lesson we all need to learn is self-development. Whether you are an employee or an employer, without self-development, you will make absolutely no progress in life. In a book by Ryan Holiday, Perennial Seller, two vital lessons are evident. 1. Creating is hard, and you have to work endlessly to get better every single day. 2. The fundamentals of marketing are about positioning and word of mouth. Everything else changes quicker than we can catch up. The only way to catch up with the steady growth and development happening in the world and around you is to develop yourself. Jim Rohn puts it this way, personal development, the never-ending chance to improve not only yourself but also attract opportunities and affect others. So Robin Sharma advises to double your income and success, triple your investment in personal development and professional mastery. 2. Live your life to the fullest. In They Both Die at the End, a book by Adam Silvera, we are reminded to make every second of our lives count. There is no reason to say no to the things that we want and opportunities that come our way. Instead of hoping for a better life, how about making the best of what we have now? In this book, the characters, Matteo Torres and Rufus Emeterio, are both faced with a die cast. They are both going to die in less than 24 hours. So how do they decide to spend what was the last day of their lives? 3. Mindset as a foundational building block of change Carol S. Dweck's book, Mindset, is one piece no one should ignore as she helps you realize and accept some truths about life and your way of thinking that can either positively or negatively influence your life. You know, your talent and intelligence are not fixed traits. They can be developed in any age and in any direction. Well, in the past, people once believed that these traits were nothing but genetic and fate. Dweck, however, uses scientific research to show that it's not anywhere close to the truth. To be successful at anything, the first thing to do is to believe that you can get better. So, instead of feeling the worst of yourself, believe that you can do what you set your mind to achieve. Changing your thought process from I can't do that to I can't do that yet changes everything. Also, a person who has a growth mindset and treats failure as opportunities stands a better chance of bouncing back beautifully. 4. How to make a conscious spending plan One of the responsibilities that come with being an adult is providing for your financial needs and knowing how best to manage your finances. In this book, I will teach you to be rich by Ramit Shetty, financial advisor and writer, advocates making a conscious spending plan. However, to do this, you need to reduce your spending on things that aren't important to you and allocate more to the things you love. For instance, here's a plan that you can try. 60% on fixed cost, rent, utilities, debt, 10% on investment, 401k, Roth IRA, 10% on savings, vacations, gifts, unexpected expenses, 20% on guilt-free spending such as Netflix and Co. 5. How to cultivate optimism No matter how much you prepare to make everything go on smoothly in life, there will be moments when nothing will. However, how you confront these moments makes a lot of difference. The way out is positivity. In this book, Live It by Jared Robbins, the author recommends leaving something in your mind before you do it and imagining all the details, emotions, and feelings that you'll experience once you achieve your goal. 6. Focus on the meaning of your experiences One vital lesson Victor E. Franco helps us understand in this book, Man's Search for Meaning, is if you have meaning in your life, you can survive anything. 
Without it, however, no matter how good your life is, you will never be deeply fulfilled. According to Frankel, when you focus on something, you get it. For instance, Frankel survived Auschwitz by concentrating on the deep meaning of his suffering. It's not that his pain had intrinsic meaning, it's that he focused on why he was willing to suffer, and that decision imbued his suffering with meaning, and that meaning allowed him to focus on something beautiful, even amid his unimaginably horrific surroundings. 7. Never be confined to your job description. Entrepreneurship happens to be the hype of the moment, and everyone says them as superstars. However, being an entrepreneur is not the easiest of tasks, and certainly not meant for everyone. The truth is that every entrepreneur, even though seen as a superstar, is only a part of a large and valuable team. This team is made up of linchpins, ultra-valuable team members who are just as driven and talented as any entrepreneur. Linchpins believe in the mission of the company and also have their connection to it. They want to deliver the best and be great at what they do. Not because they are afraid of getting fired, but because they seek lasting fulfillment and know that that's the path to it. So how can you develop yourself to become one of the incredible, irreplaceable linchpins that exist in the world today? In this book, Gooden highlights the path to achieving this goal in his book, Lynchpin, Are You Indispensable? 8. Let the reason for pursuing your goal drive you to achieve it. Start with why, how great leaders inspire everyone to take action. A book by Simon Sinek explores the need to understand our intentions for doing the things that we do. Sinek starts the book with the question, why are some people and organizations more innovative, more influential, and more profitable than others? You see, humans are designed to get meaning and purpose for life and everything we do. Figuring the purpose of your life, career, or business out will give you the ability to push through difficult circumstances. Most of the time, people know what they want to do and how they want to get it done, but they don't understand why they want to do it. The problem with not knowing your mission is that when you hit an obstacle, you will likely give up because it will become too challenging to keep up. So, whether it is your life goal, business, career, or whatever, always answer the question, why are you doing what you're doing? Knowing these values will help you become a better person and build a successful career. Here's a suggestion you should consider. It would help to read these books to get as many lessons as possible from the mind of this authors. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.